Hey guys, Brad from SimpleGuitar.com here, and welcome to another cool video. What we're going to do today is we are going to show you how to play some open chords and throw in some fancy sounding cool licks from a scale and make it look like you're a total pro and know what you're doing, right? That's what we want. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take just a simple G chord, we're going to take a C add 9 chord, a D chord, and an E minor 7 chord, maybe a D sus chord. I like those chords because I can leave my third and fourth finger in place on the third fret of my first and second string all the time. And then for G, it's just my first and second fingers on my fifth and sixth strings on frets three and two. And for C add nine, I just move those down to the floor one string, so I'm on five. My, my third fret on the fifth string, second fret on the fourth string. For E minor, it's the second fret on both those strings. And for D sus four, it's just the first finger playing the second fret on my third string. And I use these chords all the time, or you could play just a regular D chord. But when you want to throw in some cool licks and sound fancy, what scale do you use? Well, in this case, we're going to use the E minor pentatonic scale. Now, this scale is made up of open strings and the third or second fret. That's it. So on your sixth string, we're going to play open, and then you're going to play the third fret on that string. Your fifth string, we're going to play open, and then you're going to play the second fret. On your fourth string, we're going to play it open, and then play the second fret. Same thing on the third string, open, second fret, second string open, and then the third fret, and then your first string open, and then the third fret on that one. Okay, that is the whole scale. Open three, open two, open two. then you can play that back. Right? Great sounding scale. Very, very, very common. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that scale and first just strum something on a G chord. So you're just going to make this up. Now to make this simple, maybe just play a whole note and just count one, two, three, four. And while that rings out, you can use the notes of that scale that we just played and you can make up whatever you want. So in this case, I'm gonna play my fourth string open. I'm gonna play the second fret with my first finger, and I'm gonna play my third string open, but I'm going to leave my third and fourth finger down the whole time so that I have my place, and then I can get back to that G chord. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna strum that chord again, right? So that little lick was just open fourth string, hammer on, so I'm not picking the second fret, I'm just hammering on, and I'm playing my third string open, right? And then I'm strumming that chord again. Now that might be really hard at first. You might have to go one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, right? But you can practice that and build it up and get better. But I can do that with any of the notes on that scale because they fit really well over this chord. So if I'm playing that, I can do the second fret on my third string and pull my finger off to open and then play my fourth string open. Right, now here's the cool thing. I can practice all that. I can really play any of the notes of that scale. I could play that and I could play my open second string and hammer on to three, get back. Now here's the next thing. I can change chords as well. So if I'm playing G, I can throw in a cool lick and I can change to that C at nine chord and I can play another cool lick or the same lick change to E minor 7, and throw in that lick again, and change to D, play that lick again. already 
it sounds like something cool, and I'm literally just making it up off the top of my head. And I'm using just that main lick of my open fourth string, second fret, and third string open. And on D, I reverse it. I played second fret on my third string, pulled off to open, and played the second fret on my fourth string. And then I went back to G. So it's just a lot of fun. I mean, that's really all that is, is taking whatever notes are in that scale, superimposing them on the chord that I'm playing, and just letting loose and having fun, making it up off the top of your head. So that means you have to really know that scale and be familiar with it. I recommend that to do that, you practice doing hammer-ons and pull-offs to get to know that scale. That way you're killing two birds with one stone. So you play that scale and you hammer on, and I'm just gonna use my first and second finger. I'm gonna use my second finger on the third fret, first finger on the second fret. And I'm gonna play the open string and hammer on to the next note. And then I'm gonna reverse it and play it coming down, but do pull-offs. Right? And you can really get used to it. Right? And get used to that scale so that you know it. Then you have to really know your chords so that you can change them easy. And then you start just trying to throw it together as you know, bit by bit as you go. So that is how you can throw in some cool licks using your E minor pentatonic scale, your G chord, your C chord, your D chord, your E minor chord, have all sorts of fun with this. This trick is great for showing off when you're hanging out with people or you're at a party or you're somewhere and you don't know really what to play. This is excellent for just playing for people and just throwing stuff together. can just make it sound like you're this total pro and way better than you might actually be. I do it all the time, right? So it's really good for you. Have fun with it. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. Other than that, if you liked what I gave you in this video, my goal is to help make learning guitar simple for you. So I have another gift for you as well. It's called the top 10 things to learn on guitar first. It's a free guide that I put together for you that tells you 10 things that are super effective at getting you a lot of bang for your buck when you're first starting out playing guitar. And you can pick it up for free at simpleguitar.com slash top 10. All you do is put in your email address. I send it out to you right away. It's 17 pages long and there's accompanying videos for all of the 10 points in that, you know, PDF. So go get that for free, simpleguitar.com slash top 10. And I will see you in the next lesson.